one of four kids and the son of two former basketball stars. It was just a natural fit. I knew I fell in love with basketball in my freshman year of high school. Uh, I was actually playing football at the time and we made it to the championship in football and lost. And the next season, obviously, it was basketball and we went undefeated. And at that point, it was like, I don't need to play any other sport. We let them play all sports. We let them choose what they wanted to play, and they all chose basketball, which made it easy. Everything we did, we did together. My wife calls me crazy because when they were little, I wouldn't go nowhere without them. She'd be like, ah, oh, don't you want to leave? No. But I figured if I couldn't go, they couldn't go, so. I know a lot of people talk about like how their dad was a hero, but growing up, my dad was my hero. I had an older brother as well, where uh, pretty much whatever he did, I wanted to do. So it was right there in my family. Um, I could literally turn over in my bed and my older brother is right there or go down the hall to my dad's room and he was right there to push me, motivate me, but he never pressured me into playing, which I, I respect. Growing up in Southern California with four children, the Holiday household always had something going on. No, chaos, pure chaos. But it was fun. <laughs> And when you wake up on the weekends, you had to get out the house or else she'd have you clean. So they would get up and go out. So they spent a lot of time outside. The one thing that our family or the kids in our family do is they, they make um, uh, music videos. And so I have four nieces and a nephew on my side of the family. And so the guys of the family, my boys and my nephew would get together and make a mus music video. And then they would put it out and then the girls would come back with this music video. And I remember one, one day, Drew's like, hey, mama, check out our music video. And I said, oh, this is so cute. And it was um, my youngest son, Aaron, and my nephew, they're the same age, um, driving Drew's truck. And Drew's sitting in the back, and they're beeping, and they're, you know, they're, they're you know, rocking to the music and lip singing. And it, then it dawned, and as it's driving, then it dawned on me, wait a minute. They're not even old enough to drive. And you can see Drew's face in the background just smiling like, yeah, you guys don't even know. We've been having fun. I mean, he's just like that always, always. Now, uh, now, talk about the season again. You know, I know you guys won another state title, your third state title. Talk about your career at Campbell Hall a little bit. I don't know. I think it's probably one of the best high school careers around. Mm -hmm. um, three state titles in four years. Mm -hmm. With the CIF into the uh, championship, I lost my sophomore year, but, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's it's been it's been an honor. It's been fun, and I mean, I can't ask for much more. Uh -huh. Now I know you're going to be uh, going to the ESPYs, uh, you know, uh, in th this summer. Uh, you're going to be rubbing elbows with some uh, pretty big NBA stars. Oh, uh, how do you, yeah, how do you feel about excited. that? Somebody saying LeBron, I, I get to walk the red carpet with LeBron James. Yeah, Come on. that's going to be, it's going to be cool. Mm -hmm. And now talk about your summer. I know you know things are going to be, you're going to be switching a lot of gears, going to UCLA and everything. Talk about what you're expecting to, you know, see this summer with UCLA. Um, just to get the hang of things. I know it's a different transition from high school to, to college. I mean, just to get in the flow uh, right when I get there. Um, just, I mean, just to have fun, just to, to be a kid. And, mm -hmm. And, and win a national championship. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, Drew, hey, thanks a lot for the time. Appreciate it. Thank you.
It's been fun, a little hectic the last, last couple of days. But, uh, you know, it's been fun getting to know everybody, uh, getting to know some of the teams. Uh, you know, just been working out and going hard. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of teams like me. They like like the way I play. They like that I'm a, I'm a big guard, and uh, you know they, they like my personality, and uh, you know my surroundings around me. So. Uh, you know it's a lifelong dream, and, and uh, you, you really go to college. College prepares you to uh, go to the next level, and even though I, I didn't, ha I had a subpar year. Last year, uh, I felt like it prepared me to uh, step up and, and, you know, do well for, at the next level. So, um, definitely, definitely shooting. You always work on that. Uh, ball handling. You always work on that. Um, you, you know, my shooting, my ball handling is not bad, but uh, it's just something to work on. I, I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm hearing things from, from 20 all the way down to 5. What do you think uh, next year you might be fielding a few phone calls from prospects here in the late first round say, Drew, hey, what's the secret? How do I get myself to that top 10? What, what is the secret to moving up in the draft the way you did over the last uh, few months? Honestly, all I'm going to tell them is what I did. Work hard, don't complain, never give up. Uh, you know, you, Especially in, in off season or whenever you're getting ready for all these workouts, just uh, just stay positive. Uh, you know, sometimes people get you down. You read all these little things on the internet, and people tell you stuff from so many different places, their opinions, and uh, really just to stay focused. How important is it for you to uh, to get to get drafted high? Not really. I mean, it, it's really just the fit, uh, whatever team that I fit with. Because I mean, it's more of the long term uh, for me. And, and, and you know, I I don't know. I guess you can't become an all-star if you don't have, like, that, that right team. You can't win a championship if you don't have the right team. So, I mean, it, it's just a fit for me. With the 17th pick in the 2009 NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Drew Holiday from UCLA. So Drew Holiday, who was the last young man in the drink, in the green room, is going to the Philadelphia 76ers. Back in 2008, he was the number one overall prospect in high school basketball by Rivals.com. Both of his parents, Sean and Toya, played college basketball. The freshman guard for UCLA, he made the all-freshman team in the Pac-10. 6'4", 199 pounds. I remember when we were dating, I asked him, like, what are your goals? What are your dreams? Do you want to play in the Olympics? Do you want to be the MVP? What do you want? And he was like, I want a family. Ten of the shot clock. Drew Holiday, hard to hold. Drew and I met in college. We both played sports at UCLA. I'm competitive, yes. She is more competitive. I think that both of our personalities just kind of clicked. In our relationship, she's the athlete. I was playing on the national team. He was what you would call a superstar. I went to the draft. I left also to play professionally, and I think we hit the real world at the same time, and we could relate to each other. When I told her I wanted to make this work or have a commitment to her, she said, she said no. I think I told him I didn't want to make him a priority. <laughs> Honestly, there was just a feeling that made me sure he had a confidence in me that was always encouraging, was always saying, yeah, go chase your dreams.
The New Orleans Pelicans have their new point guard, more or less. The draft night trade bringing Drew Holiday to New Orleans became official Friday, pending his return from his honeymoon and a physical examination. Enough qualifications <laughs> for you there. Holiday arrives for the pick the Pelicans used to take Kentucky big man, New Orleans Noel. The beginning of my pregnancy was easy. There was so much excitement and so much joy. But probably about three months in, I was woken up by a migraine headache, unlike any headache that I had ever had. I'm in LA getting rehab, and she calls me and tells me she has a brain tumor. It was... It was unbelievable. The doctor explained to me I had a non-cancerous meningioma at the base of my skull. They were saying, okay, how about we deliver and then afterwards you'll have brain surgery. As pregnancy went on, my symptoms just got worse and worse. I couldn't walk in a straight line. My face on the right side, it didn't work. My hearing, I was losing it. I was having trouble swallowing and the headaches were just constant. My greatest fear was that Drew would lose me and his baby. During all this happening, I, I stepped away from basketball. I don't think people understand everything that I have is because of her. We had our daughter five and a half weeks early. She ended up going into the NICU for seven days. There was so much joy surrounding her that it took a little bit of, of the fear away. But once the surgery came, it was, it was indescribable. That day was the hardest day for me. I lived through a 10-hour brain surgery four weeks after I delivered my first child. The only thing that I have wrong with me is that my eye is a little off and I'm deaf in my right ear. Like, I have a healthy baby girl. If that doesn't give you perspective, I'm not sure what will. Oh, yeah, I found you. I found you. Okay, let's get dressed up. Step back three. Oh, you are kidding me. My family is safe, secure, and basketball has been fun again. Ask Daddy how your hair looks. Beautiful. She gave us all so much hope. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, I like Drew Holiday a lot. That seems like a pretty healthy get back there. What was, what was the impetus in this move? Well, even more than uh, you had in the graphic there, uh, Scott, the three future first-round picks and two pick swaps. Scott, this deal for New Orleans resembles, you know, the draft comp similar to the draft compensation they got in the Anthony Davis deal 
uh, last year, it shows you uh, how important it was and is uh, for the uh, Milwaukee Bucks uh, to bring in Drew Holiday to find an impact player to improve this team. They are trying to get Giannis Antetokounmpo to sign that five-year Supermax contract. He certainly wanted to see them make improvements. Uh, you know, they tried to be involved with Dennis Schroeder. The Lakers got him in that deal. And all day today, the Bucks were determined uh, to get a deal with uh, Drew Holiday and New Orleans. Now they bring him in, and you've got a three, you know, really, you know, three legitimate All Stars, and obviously the MVP and, and Giannis, uh, 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 Middleton, uh, Chris Middleton, and now mm -hmm. Drew Holiday, one of the best two way guards in all of the NBA.